Hello, boys and girls. It's so great to see you. I am so glad you clicked on music and decided to have music today. So we're going to start just like we always do with a welcome or a warm up song for music today. All of you who have been here at Spring Hope should know the song that we are about to sing, except we're going to change it up a little bit. But let's practice first. Do you remember me first? You second? You'll know this song. It's so good to see you. I almost couldn't wait. Could you clap your hands? And count to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's easy. You all should remember that. We did that for you when you were, you know, first grade for sure. Maybe kindergarten. Now, today we're going to manipulate those numbers just a little bit, but we'll start with the easy version and we will clap and count to eight and then we will pat our knees and count to eight. Then we will touch our nose and count to eight and then we will nod our head and count to eight. And after we sing it the first time, I'll tell you what we're going to do with those numbers a little bit. All right, let me share my screen. And here we go. It's so good to see you. I almost couldn't wait. Could you clap your hands and count to eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's so good to see you. I almost couldn't wait. Could you pat your knees? And count to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's so good to see you. I almost couldn't wait. Could you touch your nose and count to eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's so good to see you. I almost couldn't wait. Could you nod your head and count to eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, now that was easy. All of you should remember that. Bravo. Good job. Now, I've been sitting in on a couple of math classes this week. And I've decided that it might be a really great idea for you guys to use this song and practice some skip counting. Hmm, what do you think? All right, so we're gonna do this song again. And this time when we clap our hands, we're gonna count by twos. So we'll go like this. Could you clap your hands and count by twos? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Yeah, the numbers are right on the screen to help you get those brains working. All right, then the second one is, could you pat your knees and count by threes? Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Mm. Then we'll do, could you touch your nose and count by fives? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Then you'll, the last one, could you nod your head and count by tens? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So we're, we're um, doing multiples. And for those fifth graders, that skip counting helps you to learn to multiply. Second graders, it will not help hurt you at all to start learning how to do this. So we'll see you one more time with um, skip counting by twos, threes, fives, and tens. All right, here we go. <laughs> Fourteen, sixteen. 
It's so good to see you. I almost couldn't wait. Could you pat your knees and count by threes? Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four. It's so good to see you. I almost couldn't wait. Could you touch your nose and count by fives? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. It's so good to see you. I almost couldn't wait. Could you nod your head and count by tens? Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. job. Now you always can rewind and do that again. Won't hurt you to have a little bit of practice. All right. Now, if you watched last week's lesson, you know that today we are going to do Pete the Cat. Now, um, when we read Pete the Cat today, we will read it um, first, read it through just as a reminder of how the book goes. We'll sing along with the, I was rocking in my school shoes. Remember the song? And then after that, we'll talk about a music activity that we can do along with it, a rhythm activity, an easy one, just to remind you of the things that we've talked about before. All right, so let's find this. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. I think, let's see if it's gonna work. It's kind of acting a little crazy today. All right, I may have to refresh again. I'm so glad you guys are going to be patient with us as we are experiencing the wonderful things that technology has allowed us to experience. Here it is. Let's see. One more time. Come along, Pete the Cat. Here, it Here is. comes Pete strolling down the street, rocking red shoes on his four furry feet. Pete is going to school and he sings this song. I'm rocking in my school shoes. I'm rocking in my school shoes. I'm rocking in my school shoes. Pete is sitting at his desk when his teacher says, Come on, Pete, down that hall to a room with books on every wall. Where is Pete going? The library! Pete has never been to the library before. Does Pete worry? Goodness, no! He finds his favorite book and sings his song. I'm reading in my school shoes. I'm reading in my school shoes, I'm reading in my school shoes. Check out Pete. He's ready to eat in a big noisy room with tables and seats. Where is Pete? The lunchroom! It can be loud and busy in the lunchroom. Does Pete worry? Goodness, no! He sits down with his friends and sings his song. I'm eating in my school shoes. I'm eating in my school shoes. I'm eating in my school shoes. All day long. He and his friends are playing outside. Sorry. On a green grassy field with swings and tall slides. Where is Pete? The playground! Kids are running in every direction. Does Pete worry? Goodness, no! He slides and swings and sings his song. I'm playing in my school shoes. I'm playing in my school shoes. I'm playing in my school shoes. Day All day long. long, he sings this song. I'm singing in my school shoes. I'm painting in my school shoes. Adding. I'm adding in my school shoes. Writing. I'm 
drives the bus home. Pete's mom asks him, what did you do at school today? And Pete says, I was rocking in my school shoes. 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 Do it again tomorrow because it's all good. It's all good here at school. We'll be so glad when it's even better and you're here. Hmm, we're missing you. Anyway, all right, so today we're going to do an activity that you should kind of remember some things that we've done together. So we're going to go, let me go and present my screen again. Do, 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 do. Pete the Cat, Steady Beat with Pete. Now, you guys should definitely know the Steady Beat. So, quarter note, everybody knows the quarter note. I hope they do anyway. The quarter note equals one sound for one beat. So, if we were singing, if we were playing the Steady Beat while we were singing the song, we would go, I'm rocking in my school shoes. I'm rocking in my school shoes. What am I playing? Oh, it's not a drum. It's a coffee can. You guys can find something at your home to play as well. Maybe you have a coffee drinker. I am a coffee drinker. I drink um, Dunkin'. This is just something I had in my room here at school. But um, you could find a, a coffee can, a pot, maybe from your house that your mom might could use, let you use. You could use two pencils for rhythm sticks. Or you could get two wooden spoons from the kitchen. I'm going to use my rhythm sticks today. If you have a water bottle with just a little bit of water in it, you can use it for maraca. Or you could put rice in it and make it a maraca. I'll have some more things from home next week to kind of show you some ideas of what how to make some instruments. But those are some different ideas for today, okay? So when we're playing the steady beat, we're just playing four sounds one sound for one beat. I'm rocking in my school shoes. I'm rocking in my school shoes. I changed pitches. I'm rocking in my school shoes. Now that's the steady beat. Well, you know, you guys know a little bit more than just the little babies do. So I thought we would talk a little bit about rhythm. You should know this note as well. This note is an eighth note. An eighth note gets two short sounds for one beat. So if we compared the quarter note to the eighth note, this would be long, short, short. Long, short, short. Long, short, short. Long, short, short. Now, in terms of what you see at the bottom down here, we would compare it to syllables and words. What words do we have? Shoes, shoes, and then rockin'. Let's clap shoes, shoes. How many times do we clap for shoes? One, shoes. How about rockin'? How many syllables or word parts does rockin' have? Rockin', rockin', rockin'. In, has two. So if we clap this pattern the way it sounds with the words, it would be shoes, shoes, rockin' shoes. Now we add the notes to go with that. We have one sound for one beat, shoes, shoes, rockin' shoes. I'll tell you what, let's put them at the bottom so they're all on the same level. Shoes, Shoes, rockin' shoes. All right, now let's clap it. One, two, saying the words. Shoes, shoes, rockin' shoes. Shoes, shoes, rockin' shoes. Shoes, shoes, rockin' shoes. One more time. Shoes, shoes, rockin' shoes. Yeah, good job. 
So now we're going to listen to the book one more time and we're going to play this pattern. So when he goes, I was rocking in my shoes, we're going to play shoes, shoes, rocking shoes. Do you hear it? So when he starts singing, I was rocking in my school shoes, I was rocking in my school shoes, 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 rocking shoes. Shoes, shoes, rocking shoes. Get it? If not, you can rewind, listen again, and practice. I love it. Stop, rewind, practice, try it again. Okay? All right, so I'm going to turn the music on. we got to listen to the whole book again, which is cool because I like it. And then as the music comes on, we're playing this pattern. Shoes, shoes. Rockin' shoes. This house I'll play with you. Sometimes I'll play on the drum. Sometimes I'll play with the rhythm sticks. All right, here we go. I may have to refresh that music again. Let's see if it works. Let's see. Do, do, do. Yeah, got to refresh it. Give me just a second. Just a second, just a second. Here it is. I think here it comes. Here comes Pete strolling down the street, rocking red shoes on his four furry feet. Pete is going to school and he Ready? sings this song. Pete is sitting at his desk when his teacher says, Come on, Pete, down that hall to a room with books on every wall. Where is Pete going? The library! Pete has never been to the library before. Does Pete worry? Goodness, no! He finds his favorite book and sings his go. song. Tomorrow. 
because it's all good. Yay! Good job, boys and girls. I am so proud of you. What a wonderful job you did. Excellent. So that's a little bit about a music lesson. Uh, that's a little of a music lesson today. Quarter note, eighth note, long, short, short. Yeah, very good. All right. So I thank you for clicking on music today and having a music lesson with me. Hmm. There might be a spot where you can move around on my lesson on my Bitmoji classroom if you find it. Find it and get up and dance a little bit. Get some exercise. Okay. All right. I'll see you next week. Have a great one. Bye.